bitch said that I'm so bad. I like finer, finer, finer things in life. I like finer, finer, finer things in life. I like the finer, finer, finer. Hey, babes, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shatasha, aka your city cousin. For those of you who are new here, welcome all the prettiest city girls from all over the world. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn that post notification bell on so that you get all of my new bougie content. So, following along in my mini luxury unboxing series for my birthday, I have two new items that I am super excited to share with y'all. So, I have been falling in love with this Balenciaga hourglass bag that I've been seeing everybody wear. And the thing about it, I've actually had mine for um, a few weeks now. And now that I have it, I'm seeing so many girls pop up with it. And I'm just like, ah! Because I really wanted to wait and hold off and wear mine for my birthday. But now I feel like, you know, I'm getting a little left behind. But it's okay because I don't live by nobody's expectation but my own. So it is what it is, sis. I'm still going to break the internet when I do my birthday outfit, okay? So I ain't even worried about it. But yeah. So obviously, as y'all read in the description, I am going to be unboxing the Balenciaga hourglass bag, chain on wallet. And then also my new Tom Ford heels. I'm Super excited. Let's get started. So for those of you who follow me on Instagram, I'm sure y'all already seen both products in the reel that I published today. And for those of you who haven't, then why y'all not following me? My handles are below in the description. Thank you. <laughs> but as I said earlier, I have been seeing this bag in so many different variations all over Instagram these past few weeks. And I was a bit annoyed because I wasn't bringing mine out until my birthday, but nonetheless, at least I have it, and I'm super excited to share it with y'all. So, isn't she beautiful? Oh my goodness, get into the details of this bag. She is astonishing. Yes! Ah! So, I am super excited about this bag. Um, obviously, I unboxed it already for Instagram, and so I do have the chain folded, but this is the Balenciaga Hourglass Wallet on Chain bag, and it has the crocodile finish on it, and it is in the metallic silver. I absolutely love this bag. So, right now, I have the chain double, but it actually does it stand down longer and let me just take it a loose so this is how long the chain is so it actually is pretty long so you can wear it as a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag um, but being that this is a silver bag I bought it as an evening bag I'm super excited to wear this bag for my birthday because it is the perfect bag to go with my birthday shoes and my birthday dress so y'all see this just know i'm about to shut it down on my birthday trip okay so this bag is pretty small and that's why i am using it as an evening bag because when you go out and you dress up and look really cute you don't want to carry like a big purse so i wanted just something small and then i love my other wallet on chain that i have and so I decided I wanted to get a Balenciaga one because I just love this cute little hourglass shape that they're starting to carry. And I actually think they're going to make this a part of their signature um, line. So I think the hourglass uh, bags are going to be around for a while. Now, it is small again. It does have a pocket on the back. My phone does not fit in this pocket. So I have the iPhone 12 Max Pro whatever um even if i take my little stopper off my um, pop socket it's not gonna fit like this bag is super small you, you see it, it won't even mm -mm. no it, it, it won't fit so definitely didn't buy it for that reason because um it, it ain't gonna fit sis but i do feel like you know you can just slide like your card or something in here if you just need quick access to like your ID when you're going out but um as far as the inside of the bag um it has the card slots so that you can put like your uh license your debit cards your credit cards all of that and then it does have this little zipper so 
if you want to put like change or any other loose items that you don't want to fall out so i would probably put like um my lip gloss or something in there but this bag is super small so do my phone fit in this part i don't think it fits in this part either let's see oh it does <laughs> it fits so um i probably would only be able to put my cards in here my phone in here and maybe whatever my lip gloss is i wonder i think my chanel mirror may fit in here too let's see all right ladies so i got my chanel mirror and i got my lippies and let's see if that fits in here as well i would be very surprised because uh this is so freaking tight let's see if i can put that in the zipper so safe to say we're, we're not going to be able to get our hand sanitizer in here. And will the lip gloss make it? Yeah. Let's see if we can close it. Uh, we got it. <laughs> so we got it closed. Um, it does stick out a little bit. But I think this is actually acceptable. So y'all yeah, see I got a few items. I got... I'll be able to put my hotel room key in the back. Perfect. That works. So I'm going to put the hotel room key back here. And then I'll put like my credit cards, my license in the card slots. I got my phone. I got my mirror. And I got my lip gloss. And that's all I'm going to need. That's all I'm going to need when I carry this bag. Because other than that, it ain't going to fit. Like, ain't no keys. Ain't none of that. None of that. Okay? So yeah, this is literally just a wallet on a chain. There's no room for like no knife, no gun, none of that stuff that y'all saw me put in my YSL bag. I am not going to be able to carry it in this bag. So let me stand up and show y'all how this bag actually falls and then the different ways that I could wear it. All right, ladies. So you can wear this bag as a crossbody as well, which is really cute. I like, I like a lot. And then you can wear it as a shoulder bag, which... It's just as cute, but I don't think I'm going to be wearing it as a shoulder bag much. And then the way that I intend on wearing it, I'm going to double the chain and wear it as a small little bag like this. So how I showed it to you guys when I took it out the package. So I'm probably going to be wearing mines on the inside of my arm like this because this is how it looks really well with my birthday dress. Um, you can also carry it like this and then if you want you can even carry it down by your side which I can barely see. But yeah so that's what the bag looks like. Now let me give y'all the tea on this bag. So unfortunately my bag was a return and I was when I got it so as y'all know all bags come with the authentication card and I had it inside of my bag but it had been open and as y'all saw in my Saint Laurent bag I don't take my um, cards out of the little plastic that they come in but whoever had this bag felt the need to open it and I'm like why did you open that sis especially if you're returning it so I was pissed about that but then I had saw like a little scratch on the bag and that really just sent me over the edge because my thing is granted this bag was one of the more less expensive compared to like the small and the medium they even have a large version the medium and large versions of this bag but at the same time I, I still had to pay my money for it so if I'm paying my money for it I don't want to return let alone a return someone else had and they didn't take the best care of it so I know it was small and you, you th there's no way you can even tell even if I like put it up to the camera and try to show y'all where the scratch is which is like um right here I don't know if y'all can see it but um I could tell I notice it I inspect all my stuff I'm I'm just I'm I'm just that person I'm, I'm that woman so um there was a scratch on it and I was pissed and I was gonna return it however this was the last one in stock. Again. This was the last one in stock. So, of course, I'm pissed. Because I'm like, I need this bag to go with my shoes. And it's the last one. It matches my dress. It was sold out on Balenciaga's website. It was sold out on Saks' website. I ended up getting it from Neiman's. 
and um i think bird off goodman they had it but it was only one left and i ran the chances of it either being sold out because that's the tea on the shoes um or somebody having a return so i called sax and i told them what had happened and how i was irritated and i was very disappointed about it and they just offered me 20 percent of my money back which was absolutely fine with me because I, you can't see it it's the evening bag it's silver i probably won't wear it as often so it's probably not going to get that much wear and 20 percent for a itty bitty scratch even though i was anal about it still i really take that so that's what i did i ended up getting 20 percent off because again it was a return and i saw a scratch on it and i was very upset and irritated by it especially since it was the last one so I absolutely do love the bag and I do plan on wearing it with my birthday shoes, which I will unbox next. Alright y'all, so as y'all can see, I bought some Tom Ford shoes. Now, as you can recall in one of my Vlogmas videos when we went shopping, I went to Tom Ford, I tried on these um, lock shoes and they were killing my feet. <sighs> but... They were so beautiful. <laughs> they were just absolutely beautiful. And I just love how good these shoes look. Like, the aesthetic of the shoe is so beautiful. Like, when I see women wearing them, like, it just makes their legs look, like, amazing. Like, I love these shoes. And I just had to get me a pair. Because at the end of the day, beauty is pain, sis. It's other shoes that I wear that hurt my damn feet, too. So, I might as well just... You know, add another one to the collection. But I do have a shoe stretcher. So that's what I plan on doing is stretching the strap that goes across my toes. Because, honey, like I said, beauty is pain. And these shoes are just absolutely amazing. And they look bomb as hell with my birthday dress and my new bag. So I purchased the Tom Ford Padlock Metallic Sandal. And it is in the color silver, and I absolutely love these shoes. And y'all are too when I show y'all. Like, it's definitely worth it because, sis, the way that this bag and these shoes snap, like, they're a match made in heaven. There's no other shoe that would set that bag off or no other bag that would set this shoe off in the manner in which it does. So, you know, I had to do the damn thing. It's my 30th. So unlike the bag, this was not a return. These were brand new and I actually ended up ordering these from the Tom Ford website. So let me just tell y'all what happened as I unboxed this shoe. I ordered the shoe from Neiman when I ordered the bag. And they had the gift card event and with the purchase of the shoe, I actually would have gotten a um, $150 gift card. However... I have Shop Runner, and what Shop Runner is, is like a two-day shipping service so that when you buy like your items, like how Amazon Prime gives you like two-day shipping, it's basically the same thing. So, um, I ordered the shoes with the bag. However, my damn size must have sold out because it was the last one. At first, when I tracked it, it said it was like in Atlanta, shipping from Atlanta. Then when I tracked it again, like a few days later, because in two days, it should have been here and it didn't. So when I went back to go track it, it was in Austin. And I'm like, I just thought y'all was sending it from Atlanta. Why is it coming from Austin now? And basically what ended up happening was like the next week, they just canceled the whole damn shoe order. And I was pissed. So um, I called them because they didn't even email me saying that they had canceled it. Like I literally caught it before the email went out. Um, and I was just like, my shoe was pending. It was saying that it was coming from Atlanta first, then Austin. And now it's like canceled altogether. But you guys didn't even email me. She was like, oh, no, we're sorry. It actually just got canceled. And uh, you should be getting the cancellation email probably sometime this evening. And I was like, okay, well, that was very inconvenient because I really needed that shoe. And now it's completely sold out and blah, 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 blah. So what ended up happening is they did cancel the order. I did get the email that evening and it did come with a promo code. I think they gave me like 10% off my next order. But I was just like, whatever, I need this shoe. So I ended up ordering it from the Tom Ford website. So I was able to get my shoe delivered literally that same week and I was super excited about it. So inside the box I have this little gift note and I wrote myself a little nice message telling myself happy 30th birthday and that I deserve all of the luxuries in life. So it's nice to have these positive affirmations even if I'm buying things for myself. Um, then you also have this little pouch that it just comes with additional shoe taps. So they actually gave me four, which is great. You have two for each shoe. Um, 
Louboutin is stingy. Louboutin don't give you that many. So, hmm, good job, Tom Ford. And then you have a dust bag. And this is just for you to put your shoes. Oh, it's two. I didn't even realize that. So they gave you two dust bags to put your shoes in. And I do use my dust bags when I travel. I like to keep all of my shoes in their dust bags. So what I do, even though I put my shoes on my um, shoe shelf, I keep all of my dust bags in one of my drawers. And I make sure that I take them out and I use them when I'm traveling or if we're doing like um, some type of hotel stay. I take all of my shoes in the bags they came with. Now let's unveil the shoes. They're so sexy. Oh my gosh, y'all are gonna die. Okay, y'all probably won't die, but I mean, y'all are gonna gag when y'all see how sexy it is and how well they go with my bag. <sighs> Aren't they just so beautiful? So here is the shoe. Oh my gosh, she's beautiful. Like, get into this stiletto, honey. That thing there is so freaking beautiful. It's worth every penny that I spent on it. And although it's not going to be the most comfortable, once I break it in, it's going to be comfortable. It's, it's going to be all the way worth it when I break it in. How about that? <laughs> so um, I ordered my shoe in a size 39. I am a 8.5 American size, sometimes 9, depends on the shoe. But I'm also flat-footed, and I have very narrow feet. So a size 39 was best. When I tried it on in Tom Ford um, back around Christmas time, was that Christmas? Yeah, because that was Vlogmas. When I tried it on back around Christmas time, I tried on a size 39 and a 39 and a half. But the 39 and a half, my feet were sliding to the front way too much. And so that shoe was too big. But one thing about Tom Ford, uh, the manager did tell me that a lot of people have sizing issues with this shoe. So you either need to size up a half size or a whole size. But for me, it was pretty much a standard 39 and that's what I wear in like my Louboutins as well. So this shoe is just so freaking sexy. Like I love it. It is the metallic silver and it does have the silver padlock and key as well as the silver heel and the um, buckle. And I will try these babies on and let y'all see what they look like. Alright ladies, so here are the shoes and they are absolutely beautiful, honey. Yes, they are giving me all the life that I need okay and let me show you how it looks with the bag like look at these together there's no way you can say that this does not snap okay like this is it honey this is this is everything that I need for my 30th okay now y'all can see the strap is a bit big and it does hurt my toe like right here on the pinky toes I will be going to get more holes at it because as you can see like this is way too loose this isn't gonna really be helpful when I'm walking in them and that's just not safe it's a, it's a safety hazard walking in heels if your your uh ankles aren't secure with the heels especially in a heel like this like this is way too big this is way too big so I have like room for four of my fingers and probably a fifth one if I to put my thumb in it which I can so yeah all of my fingers can fit in the uh strap of this shoe so I definitely have to go get some more holes at it but yeah what do you girls think about them like y'all love this shoe as much as I do I love these shoes okay and they are pointy which I love pointy shoes and they just look really cute with my white toes ah! all right babe so here we have the Tom Ford padlock heel and then the Balenciaga Hourglass Wallet on Chain Bag. And they are both just so freaking sexy and absolutely gorgeous together. Like, this is a match made in heaven. Like, seriously, I, I mean, I mean, what other way to do it? I'm definitely going to be wearing these two together in several different outfits. Like, I, I knew that if I bought a silver bag, I needed to have a silver shoe. And so I was like, well, I mean, if I'm going to do a Balenciaga bag, I need to do a designer shoe with it. And that's what made me just go ahead and get the Tom Ford shoe. Again, I will be getting 
the uh, strap stretch because it does hurt my pinky toe right here on the side. And then uh, I definitely need to get some more holes added in the strap around my ankle because I can fit all four of my fingers and my thumb into this strap while it's on my foot. So that's a problem. Um, I definitely need that support so that it can be tight so that the shoe can actually, you know, fit on my foot securely when I'm walking. I don't have to worry about tripping or anything like that. Seriously, ladies, if your shoes are not fitted to your feet properly, like, that's definitely a safety hazard. Like, how are you supposed to strut that thing and your shoes don't even fit right? So, um, I'm going to be taking them probably to someone um, in Buckhead because they did tell me who I needed to take them to. I forgot. I'm probably going to have to call back up there and ask, but yeah. These are just so beautiful. Oh my God, I just love them. And I love the back. Oh, they're so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> All right, babe. So I hope y'all like the items just as much as I do. Again, they were gifts to myself. So I did buy those for myself. Um, I will show y'all what Keon get me for my birthday. But I gotta wait for my birthday because, you know, he don't let me have my presents early. I get I get myself my gifts like a month or two in advance and be like, it's for my birthday. <laughs> but now he's like, no, your birthday is in June. You're going to get your gift in June on your birthday. So I'll wait, but I'll keep y'all updated on what he get me. So I do plan on vlogging my birthday trip. I'm still not going to tell y'all where I'm going yet. Uh, so that it'd be a surprise, but I'm super excited. I played it safe. I wanted to go somewhere like very far. But since we're still in a pandemic, regardless of what the CDC says, I wanted to play it safe because I don't want to risk getting stuck somewhere for an additional two weeks. And I, we just have a lot going on anyway. So I wanted to, like, you know, be relatively close. So we're, we're going to be like everybody else on Instagram and go where we're safe to go. <laughs> but it's okay because our hotel, baby, whoo. Y'all know I love all things bougie luxury, so y'all ain't even going to be surprised when y'all see it. <laughs> but thank y'all so much for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button so that we can get the algorithm on our side. We're growing and things are looking real bright for us. I love my city and pretty girls, okay? Y'all are doing the damn thing. And I know y'all love my luxury videos and I'm going to try to keep them coming. I just be kind of hesitant to like show off the things that I buy because I don't like to be like you know, looked at as if I'm bragging or I don't need anyone counting my pockets. So I try not to do that often, but I know the girls love to see these type of things. So I'm going to try to keep them up. I'm going to try to give y'all a little more. I ain't going ain't gonna to just hide everything. <laughs> but thank y'all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see y'all next time.